Are we scared yet? We should be. It's time. Time for video games. Hell yeah. Video games. It's uh It's a real one today, guys. It's a real one today. Big thanks, Albino Donkey. Put together a tremendous effort for Monster Hunter World. You think you've seen it all. You've seen nothing. In fact, many of us, uh, nearly all of us, haven't seen any of this. Uh, it is unreal. Um, and this is only the beginning. This is only the start. We've got a long ways to go. Only five monsters. How many large monsters are there in, uh, Iceborne? 60? 70? It's, uh... It's something. So, um, we have done randomizers before, but that was just moving around the monsters within the game. Now, we're moving around the, the attacks in the game. So, um, it's going to be scary. Uh, it's going to be challenging. I don't even know. If I can even clear Pookie Pookie. Albino Tonky tells me Pookie Pookie is going to be very hard. Well, Pookie Pookie. So, um. I don't know. I was kind of thinking Hammer. Hammer, Hammer always feels like a good choice. Uh, is Oregon going to do Zenogre Slams? Not yet. Uh, I'm going to try with normal weapons and normal armor to start. And if I can't do it, then I'll, I'll switch over to like my copium, my copium equipment. So the way it works is every monster's attack has to be something. I don't think there's any way to make it like a chance that randomly Rajang's hyper beam can come out, but... Certainly, you can make it so that uh, Pookie Pookie is shooting Rajang laser beams. That is absolutely a possibility. Uh, so we're going to get started. Uh, I call it a run. We are going to be starting from the beginning of the game. We've got cutscene skip on, so things should be moving along in a nice clip. i uh, not going to run a timer because we're just going to keep going until we don't anymore. You want every monster to be Basil. I don't know if we can make monsters fly yet. But soon, soon I hope. It's going to be a thing. You know how basil projectiles work? Could be fun. I mean, presumably monsters will just like fling out. Oh, actually, we should probably do random, right? <laughs> she looks so scared. Perfect. Make her bald, uh, chaos only. Gator underscore Graves just resubscribed for 32 months. Gator chaos runtime? I mean, this is like ultimate chaos. I mean, the, the tournament that will eventually spawn from this once uh, we get to January and Albino has finished, uh, you know, his efforts is going to be glorious. Hey, yeah, all right, so I got I to gotta clearly update that that command because people are going to be spamming it. His dark works. Not show us. Chaos. 
is a rules of the chaos thing. Hold on. That's an old command. Random. Random monsters. Random moves. There you go. There you go. Here you go. Everyone is offline. I know. What am I? Your streamer of last resort? No, sound was dead because I alt tabbed out of it. Sorry, I may have ran. Look, you're just going to have to watch. Okay? You've got. 15 minutes, I think, until we get to the first monster. That chaos link has everyone offline because that's not what this is. Uh, I do not think Albino has done Alatrion yet, but, um, I mean, maybe someday. Do I like how nobody does Monster World RTA despite cutscene skipping in? I mean, I've complained about that. I've complained about that. Hold on, I'm turning the audio down. Go, go ahead and do it again, potatoes. Jesus Christ, this guy. Hold on, I'm adjusting the audio volume. How does that work? You're just gonna have to watch, Queen, okay? I'm gonna... You're gonna be roped in. You love trolling this goblin. Thank you. You can give them random moves? Dude, I wish Stories 2 was designed just a little bit differently. Um, or had more support or something. Because it, it would be cool to have like a proper contender to Pokemon. Well, I know Hex was switching monster moves around very early. Uh, Albino. Allegedly, he was trying to get Great Jagras to summon Ecliptic Meteors. And I don't know if this is the case, but like, I just like to imagine the Great Jagras standing up on his little hind legs, summoning meteors out of the sky. After the Pokemon remakes, everything is better, really? I feel like that might still be a little too loud. Hold on, you're gonna hear it cut out a little bit. I'm just adjusting the audio. Oh, Latrion is in the list. I think Pearl was the last Pokemon game I played casually. After that, I know I did like a playthrough of like Ultra Moon, I guess. And I think I did a Nuzlocke of... Platinum? Oh, almost guaranteed there's EXP share in the remakes. I mean, that's just a normal thing that like they're going to have. I guess the big question is, is can it be turned off? No one talks about SMT5? People don't like hard games. People want easy games. Guys, how's the audio? Please tell me how the audio is. I hate switching games, because I always have to adjust this garbage. Emoi Macho. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Lanzov. Thank you. Here. A little kiss. That's for you. Is this one weapon or multi weapon? Uh, we're going to start with hammer and we'll see where it goes from there. What about you? Here you go. Are small monsters KSFI too? No, but <laughs> presumably we could do that. 
Is the monster theme music randomized too? Um, I know there's an option for that. It gets weird though. Does Bow or Lance have a chance of being played? Uh, I would maybe do Bow. I would love to do Lance Queen. Lance is one of my favorite weapons, but everyone's like, wow, boring Lance. No Lance. Will you give Maldi a kiss? Why can't we have a boy quest giver husband though? <laughs> I mean, if you want to hire somebody to model the um, male handler concept art, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it would be a popular download. I don't know if Dwarven Man is still in chat, but I mean, he would probably scrape together whatever money he had towards that project. There's a male handler concept? Got the artwork right here. Let's see here. Give me a second to find it. Um, oh, yep. That should be right around here. Uh, uh. Look at that. So basically the same outfit, just a boy, albeit a somewhat feminine looking boy <laughs> he's so hot i mean uh yeah i mean that's a concept in japanese media that's definitely a thing that they play around with sometimes it's a tomboy no it is a boy You haven't tested the first quest if it crashes? I mean, if it crashes, like, whatever. I'll just, I'll make sure to save first. DD Master, thank you. I'm up to date with all the naughty things Japanese media is up to. I'm at least that online. Probably the biggest thing um, that might have helped overall for handlers like likability is there was a concept that she would sometimes play the hunting horn and buff people. So, you know, like there's all those areas with like, you know, the, the gajalakas or the, the felines or whatever that would help you out. I would assume that in one concept she would randomly be on the map and then you would run up to her and she'd like play like attack up or defense up or something like that. I think that would have actually gone like a really long way with people being like, oh, I like Handler. Like, I don't think she needs to be like running around the field like hitting things with the hunting horn necessarily. God, they added so many more. <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, if they had a different person doing all the tutorial stuff, that probably would be a bit better. I mean, I'll, I'll say it just to say it. I, I like the handler. I think she's a fine character. Is this plate fixed? It is apparently only once an hour now. <laughs> I told them that if it kept going off every 10 minutes, I was going to stop doing the campaign and they fixed it. <laughs> Not I look, I'm only 30, 66. Okay. I've got no power. I just said like, I don't, I don't want to be spamming it that much. Once an hour is fine to let you know. Display is running a, a wonderful sale. Get up to, what is it, 42% off? That's pretty good. What the fuck? <laughs> Albino donkey, what was that? <laughs> he just peed out like a flamethrower. <laughs> I, I like that there are dong lasers. Like, I, I'm... No, I, no, 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 no. Dong lasers is 100% a feature, not a bug. That is, that is not something I want you fixing. They have medication for it? Can I get medication to get a dong laser? S dog? <laughs> what the hell? Is that day nine? That looks like day nine. So the first quest, no matter how cursed it is, usually has such a low modifier that like you can't really lose. Uh cutscenes are gonna get skipped. Just messing with me? That's fine. I follow Tasteless. I do not follow Day 9. I've actually started to watch um, StarCraft 2 content a bit more recently. So I might start following Day 9 as well. Assuming he still does. From what I saw, he was mostly doing like card games and stuff. How will I learn to be a better lamer? <laughs> I think I've already got that covered. StarCraft 2 is still a thing, yeah. My only complaint about what I saw about StarCraft 2 is... It's just like so fast. Like, there's like no early game whatsoever. Have I watched Bronze League Heroes? Nope. Uh, is it possible to play these mods with friends online? If you had the same native PC, I don't see why not. Yeah, see, it's like, it's it's nothing against Day 9. I just, like, I'm not super interested in Magic the Gathering or Age of Empires 4. Maybe Age of Empires 4. The, the main thing you have to be really careful about is there may be certain points in the game where... If you try and fail a quest, you will not be able to do the quest again, so... Particularly, like, when it's the quest time to fight Teostra, you probably want to save before and then turn autosave off. Odo is going to curse us? Well... I'll be very happy if we even make it to Odo. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, so like it, maybe maybe I'd rather watch Age of Empires 4 because like I said, like the StarCraft 2 is fun, but it feels like everybody just a, like could have like 20 battle cruisers 10 minutes in, and that just doesn't 
Like, I, I like the early game harassment stuff, and when that's completely skipped, it's, it's li a little less interesting to me. And so, also, um, in previous versions of the randomizer, just to maybe not have the direct concern of Capcom being mad at it, we made it so Master Rank monsters could not be in low rank. Um, I feel like it's probably safe now. And, uh, we're probably okay. Am I Zerg? So, when I played StarCraft 2, uh, I actually got to Diamond League as Zerg. I think I should put the chaos command in the description. Well, all right. So it's going to be muted for one second. I'll just do exclamation chaos. Room. All right. There you go. You happy now? You monsters? Random is definitely a lot more um, Chad than Zerg. I agree. But to be fair, like if I'm going to be really honest, like I enjoyed StarCraft 2. I probably enjoyed StarCraft 1 Brood Wars the most. That, that's probably my favorite, favorite game to watch. I, I used to spend, like, actual, like, season, like, I spent money on subscription services to, like, GOM TV and stuff to watch, like, the Korean tournaments live and have access to the VODs. It was pretty amazing. And it was nice because in a way I was like directly paying for Tasteless to get like, you know, paid to live and commentate in Korea. And there was this really long period of time before Artosis joined where he just constantly had like a different commentator every season. It was really interesting. But I, I, would, I would say, I mean, I think most people would agree like the Tasteless Artosis combination was the best combo. Yeah, it's it's hard to argue. I mean, and that's not to mean any disrespect to the other commentators, because there was a lot of other commentators that I think did a really great job. It was just Tasteless Artosis just had a really good chemistry. I think Hammer's gonna be okay. You did your run with Hammer? Yeah, I feel like like Hammer's a safe choice. Alright, so I'm gonna save before. Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen that episode, Turnip. All the other I, I don't think other commentators would like argue. <laughs> like even even if like you had a good time with, with Tasteless, I think you'd you'd have to agree like it was Oh no. Can I not save yet? Okay, hold on. Uh we could theoretically see Ruin or Nergigante. We can see literally any monster. <laughs> we not use a stamina intensive weapon or something to immobile? Like even dual blades? Alright, this is cool. Okay, Black Diablos, I think. Is that what that is? Looks like it. <sighs> Did she just like fling blood out? If you use the roaming ballista, that's cheating? Okay. What about the dragon razor? She's got a weird noise. <laughs> When he screams, he, like, spits out poison. And I've got Water Blight? This is concerning.
The clutch, clutch claw interactions are water blighting me. <laughs> So every time I clutch claw a monster, I'm going to be water blighted? <laughs> it's random? What are the other things that could happen? Don't tell me. So weird. <gasps> too, too late. So we're gonna get no rewards from this basically, right? No cars, essentially. Maybe like bones. Oh, we got we got real carapace. Okay, that's um, that's okay. Do, do the cannon? I could use the cannons. I could use the the dragon razor. I just can't use the roaming ballista. Although, wouldn't I have to load the dragon razor? <laughs> you put more things in the shop because you needed to cheat to win. Oh, I'm I'm not gonna cheat if I can help it. I mean, we're, we're going to go to the, uh, this is normal iron. Might just go the ore path. Like, bone path is better, but I don't even know if we can get, I don't even know if we can get medium monster bones, so. HP is not random. Um, they are scaled based on the quest level, right? So that's a, a one-star quest. So you're going to get like a little... Uh, the, the monster's going to be as if it's it's got one-star modifier. I'm not going to use the defender weapon, but we are going to get the uh, collectible pack, which will let us upgrade our, our weapon a little bit. Which I think that's I think that's fair. Oh, you know, actually, um, we might be able to get the a bone bone weapon out of this because I think it I think it gave us some medium monster bones. Okay. Yeah, we'll just make the um the bone hamper that way. When I leave this session, well, I'm certainly not going to stay in this session. Does Bo Lance have a chance to be played? Uh, Bo maybe, Lance probably not. How cursed would it be to join the session? I don't, I don't, I have no idea what happened. It would probably just crash. It's not like letting me go on expeditions yet. Did we have to do Jagras first? Uh, 
Alright. Yeah, I guess you gotta do. Guess you gotta wait till... How the hell does it work again? I, I'm trying to remember how we used to do this. Then we got to do Great Jaggers afterwards? Oh, I see. So we do the Kested on, right? And then once we see Great Jaggers, we leave. I got you now. I remember. Um, Honestly, not... A bad idea to get, uh, what is it? Cast on arms? What is a chaos run? Just have to wait and see. The game looks so weird to me now because, like, I'm not used to playing it with DirectX. What is it? DirectX 11? And DirectX 11 definitely changes some things about, like, the lighting and stuff like that. So it's not, it's not going to be sex ramp all the time, Shop. It's just going to be sex ramp some of the time. See, I would get these crazy glitches turn up. Like, the, the game would tweak out and then crash. But now, like, they, they changed something and now it's the opposite. <laughs> now it's like DirectX 10 or whatever tweaks out and crashes for me, so. Like, I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's got to be a driver thing or something. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like maybe maybe Capcom did some fixes to the game to make DirectX 11 more compliant, but in the process broke the old compatibility. I really don't know. I keep trying to skip cutscenes, <laughs> like it's Monster Hunter 3, <laughs> Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. No cutscene skipping? Yeah, not in this game. No. Stop. I wonder if he's going to do something insane in this cutscene. Right, it looks mostly normal. Yeah, no, it's actually, it's a strat in some speedruns. I mean, not commonly, because obviously it takes a while, but you will eventually get pulled up the hill. So if you want to spend time getting bones or carving kestodons or grabbing fire or grabbing those torch pods, you can do that. You haven't found any randomized stuff yet? Oh no, we already did a Black Diablos. So we're not going to hunt the Great Jagras. We are going to go into the Jagras cave, though. And we're going to grab some more bones and some ore. Oh, 
And then once we load the proper Great Jaggers quest, we're going to start. That's when you're going to start seeing stuff really pop off. I think we still have to do Kulu. Um, the expedition for Kulu. So do I have both speed gathering and... Oh, I got two. So it's got two level one slots. Is the idea that I can go to the store and buy effluvium decos? Chaos Run can go through Iceborne Store. Yeah, we can go through Shar if we want. Oh, it doesn't work until high rank? Okay. So if there's any effluvium, and there's basically guaranteed to be effluvium, uh, we just got to deal with it. Oh, that's fun. How hard could it be? If no berries in the shop, I mean, that would make things a little bit easier. I mean, like, whatever, man. I mean, if I can't do it, am I going to play the Pokemon remakes? Not planning on playing them. Um, almost definitely not streaming them, so. I might just see if we can make a... We'll see. I mean, it doesn't take that long to get to the point where we'd be able to get the Gyros armor, and it doesn't help that much, but it might reduce some of the damage we'd get from Effluvium. I mean, I don't... I don't blame them. Like, there would be... It's like, it would be a useless skill to have Miasma Resistance. <laughs> In Lorek, right? I mean, it would do anything. Do I think Sunbreak will die as quick as Base Rise did? I hope not. What do you think? Right, we'll see if we make the cast on arms. Okay. Uh, high metal? Yeah, I mean, you may as well get speed sharpening. I don't know that poison resistance might actually help. <laughs> poison resistance might actually be beneficial in this run. Well, at least until we can get slots, I'm going to go with the Bone Helm. All right. That's, I think, about as good as it's going to get. So, It's Great Jagras time. That's an Origin Isle. You get Starter Pack, but I have traded items for Money Shop. I mean, I'm doing fine, fine money-wise. Get as many resistances as you can. You know, unless I get hard-walled by whatever this great Jagras is, which, I mean. <laughs> what is this music?
It's very ominous for a great Jagras. Is it Nergigante? I have no idea. That is a Brute Tigrix. I am bleeding and on fire. Why? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I like the concept of being punished for clutch clawing. Because it's a powerful ability, right? Ah, uh, it's a shame. It's nothing. So far, he's not doing anything that cursed. Is he just doing, like, different attacks and the roars aren't working? What is that? <laughs> oh, he just... Okay. Well, all right. Hold on. You say he lost the lottery. I'm on fire and bleeding. So... I don't, I don't know, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's, it's a total loss. If I look up in the air, I can see his clouds. Clouds of what? What are his clouds? Oh, he's doing a fluvium and the clouds are going up in the air? I'm going to try and not to abuse um, Slinger Burst. Because that's really... That's really balanced for... Master Rank. Oh, I might use it in, like, High Rank. Fall off. Well, that was awkward. Music's quiet. I can turn the music up a little bit. Oh, it's like not even letting me carve him. I can't even carve him. <laughs> can you see that? He's like forbidden. Forbidden carves.
That was neat, though, being on fire and, and bleeding whenever he hit me. I mean, even if I carved him, I would have gotten nothing anyways, I think. Maybe I would have gotten medium monster bones or something equivalent to that. Ah, oh, there's a, uh, some honey, some ancient bones. Exactly what I wanted. Why is my Palico already level 7? Are they getting boosted experience from, like, the stronger monsters or something? Can I bring you in my pocket again? I can't. I'm sorry. It seems like it, doesn't it? I'm going to suggest that each monster has a certain amount of experience they provide based on like whatever their base model is so we might we might get a little bit lucky in that we might have like essentially a boosted palico which will help a little bit But if it's Nergigante next, uh, I would be lucky. I'm very good at fighting Nergigante. So the, the, the way the randomizer used to work is to some degree, you wanted the harder monsters earlier because their health and everything was scaled to be a lot lower. And then you wanted the easier monsters later if you wanted to get through it faster because, you know, they were still easier monsters. The difference being is now, like, even, I don't know, Kulu Yaku can shoot, like, flamethrowers out of his anus. So, and I don't know exactly how it works. Albino Donkey could probably speak on it a bit more, but apparently each attacks have... Uh, motion value associated with them. I don't know if that scales like off of a monster's base attack or something. You ordered some SHP 9500s because they seem comfy? Dude, are th these ones? Yeah, no, they, they are good headphones. I could recommend them. Cheap too, like $70 or something. No, you, you, you're not going to go wrong. So it's based on like the quest level. So say it was like an optional level six albino donkey. And you took the same move from, I don't know, Xeno Jiva. And you put it on a Kulu and you put it on a Nergigante. It would be the same damage. Yeah, well, my character, I mean, she's... <laughs> Nothing she's seeing happens to match uh, what she was told in the in the guide. And so I think that uh, an ideal endgame goal, Albino, would be setting it to some extent so that even like that base, H, base HP gets normalized to some extent. I think that would be helpful with the randomizer in general because... You know, I don't want Great Jagras to just die. Like, I want him to fight back. And likewise, if we find Behemoth, I don't necessarily want to be slapping him for, like, 30 to 40 minutes. Like, it, it's got to be somewhere in between. Like, the ideal quest length is between, like, 10 and 20 minutes, I feel like. It's just going to take experimentation. So, yeah, I mean, you're already doing what I would I would say makes a lot of sense. Huh. 
And I can already tell that the random arenas are nice. It's feeling a lot less like... Samey? Because this one arena in particular was sometimes pretty unfair. You know, we were regularly able to get, you know, the rock drop and the, the Dragonator going off over and over again. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so good! No, no! do some uh, possibly disgraceful strategies here to get through this. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, What is that move? Why is it doing it so much? Oh, it probably replaced its wind aura with fire explosions. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get him out next. Do I have a... Okay, I got flash pods. Jesus Christ. It just shot a fireball out of its peepee. -pee. <laughs> it's so cool.
Huh. All right, we're gonna we're gonna grab. I'm I'm actually I'm still okay. He's just a Kulu. He's scaled to Kulu level. Oh, oh yes, this is what we needed. So the Dragonator should be up. Would a cool drink help? A cool drink? I don't think a cool drink is enough. God. Chat, please. Oh, chat is done. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is going to be this is gonna be a challenge. And we can do it. We can definitely do it though. He shot me with a water. Like, he was far enough away that I, I thought I was safe, but I wasn't safe. He got me with a water beam. Didn't I have honey? Okay, that's not going to help. I don't think it'll help. Maybe it'll help. The the flamethrower aura is is absolutely terrifying. Bring out the Defender Hammer? I mean, the Defender Hammer would help a little bit. I mean, the Defender Armor would also help a little bit. I think Kushala gives piercing pods. Jesus Christ, that goes on for so long. I really want to get like a tenderizer. Oh, I guess I don't really want to. Do I want a flash bomb yet? Like, I want to do this because I want to get the head tenderized. Because the head on its own doesn't take very good damage. The ore is actually not hitting that hard. It's just the fact that I'm constantly on fire. That's... That's the problem.
That is simply amazing. That is simply amazing. Ugh. All right. Hope is to get the KO here. Please, no! I'm sorry! I don't know why he has not done the the terror move yet. If this is supposed to be a Latrion, maybe he's got different modes. Maybe he's in ice mode now. I mean, he's in ice mode. I mean, I know he still has his napalm. You know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> I kind of knew that was coming. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. He's doing it now. I'm trying to be so brave right now. Oh, it's so it's so hard to approach. You can't even see him. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Fire blight? I promise you it was not just the fire blight that was the issue there. That was a a minor really a minor issue all all the <laughs> Blight immunity would help. That would be a positive. Well, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm glad we got this map. Ow. Ow. Ow.
Oh god! <laughs> oh god, it got me again! Alright. I'm using the forbidden technique. No, it's dragon pods! That doesn't do anything for us. I'm actually getting walled by his ice. Take. He really doesn't take that much dragon damage, does he? Literally, Clutch Claw for this guy is, like, pretty much my only chance to get damage off. stuff. I got some Dara carves. That was terrifying. What a good showcase. How can I down? We're still working on it, Jolly Green. We are actively in development. She looks like so fed up. I got a Deora horn out of that too. So it looks like for whatever reason, some carves and rewards are working now. I don't feel like they were working before. Now it's time for a simple, a humble pookie pookie. The, the hope is to have it uh, mostly completed in January. It's the, the hard part for Albino Donkey is he's testing out Every, every set of monsters has a set of moves, and some of the moves just cause the game to crash, at least when paired with certain monsters. You know if this one's going to be possible? I mean, we'll, we'll go as far as we can. I, th I would think most people would have thought that first quest was impossible. But I got, I got through it, and I'm not even using the defender gear yet. When I pull out the defender gear, you're going to know it's real. <laughs> That's how you know it's real.
This music scares me. This is this is scary. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. The worst possible monster to get. No. Oh, he already shot me with a penis beam. Oh. <laughs> What is that? He's like a Gundam. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Dude, I love it. Holy crap. That's so cool. That looks so good. He just hit me with his tail and set me on fire. <laughs> I know he he has a po <laughs> I know he's got a possibility of crashing the game. Is this Frontier? I mean, we're approaching Frontier. You have to be brave when he does that attack. Cowards die. What is that? What is that? Oh my god! What is that? Ah! <laughs> Yeah, sorry if we lose frames, guys. I'm assuming that's understandable. Why is he so hard to ride? Well, I'm gonna regret that. Guys, I might abandon this one. I gotta, I gotta, we're gonna have to try this one fresh. I don't want to use those, uh, I don't want to use those items again. Jesus Christ. It's just a pookie pookie. He's just a pookie pookie. No, no, no. I'm, I, I'm, I'm confident I could beat him with this equipment. It's just... It's not going to be easy. This is easily one of the hardest things we could have gotten. And honestly, like, Kushala is one of the hardest things we could have gotten as well. I like how we got like a little pee pee laser. <laughs> he gets like a little pee pee laser. Wait, no, that's the wrong direction. Oh, what a waste.
I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what you're supposed to do there. Hard to ride. Please, please let me finish. Please. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. I am on fire though. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's gonna be bad. Whatever he's doing at the end there. even know what attack opportunities I get. You gotta wait until after he's done with that move. Okay, so after the second explosion, we might be safe. I'm so dead. No, no, no. You can definitely get close. You just have to get, you have to get them um, after the second the second explosion. <laughs> what the hell? Lotness, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh no. No, I'm so sorry. He's got his PP beam. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I'm so dead. <laughs> we're gonna be okay. We're, we're actually we're gonna be fine. I think it's defender time. I feel like. Defender weapons um might might be justified. I feel like I feel like most people are like, yeah, we get it. Uh -oh. So Vital Donkey, can you make it so you can mix and match the moves between them? Or does it always have to be like Stygian becomes Xeno? Can you become a mix of things? His dragon attack just set me on fire. Because I'd like to see the mix and matches. I would certainly like to see less... 
Well, maybe I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's certainly amazing to watch. And he attacks one more time. Okay. I don't know when the attack for that ends. How is chat, like, living through this? No, no, no. I think I think we got to go full chaos on it. I mean, and obviously, like, we got to make sure not to add any moves. That would be too dumpy. So, somebody earlier was saying, might we see Lance? And I said, probably not. But, um, on, you know, um, maybe. Oh, he's still angry. <laughs> Guys, I think we might die. I think we might die. <laughs> Um, yeah, I might want to buy some mega potions. Um, I think we're going to upgrade our equipment. Okay, that's helpful. I'm trying to think what weapon could possibly work there. <laughs> uh, yeah, bow maybe? Defender bow? Might do that. I don't have any money. Light bow gun's too boring. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to win with light bow guns. I'm gonna. No, I, I could. I can make bow work. I mean, we can always switch off of bow. I just feel like bow is more interesting than light bowgun. Light bowgun just feels too easy. Should absolute epilepsy warning in the title? Really? We had a sturdy bone, we can get that. Great sword is the play. I'm not gonna I don't wanna walk up to him. Yeah, I think we're just we gotta go I, I hate I hate to say it, but I feel like we gotta go guardian here. Was this the first monster in the in the game? Uh this is actually the third monster in the game, Pookie Pookie. Can I get black belt somehow? No. All right, so this uh, approach is cheating, but I, I feel like it's it's going to be justified. What is a chaos run? Oh boy. 
You're in for an experience. This music is perfect, by the way. Oh no. Alright, this is gonna go fine. He hasn't charged up yet, which is like, good. Oh, we're getting so lucky. No, 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 Yeah, those frames are not looking fresh. Don't do it. Is 
Is the monster HP scaled at all? Yeah, he's scaled a little bit. Um. His base HP should still be pretty high, though. Well, that was almost easy. No, oh, I mean. Uh, I mean, let's not use the word easy. Uh, manageable? You can't carve. In low rank, you you can't even it won't even let you carve the monster. I might actually switch back to the hammer. Because I feel like I'm I'm gonna be too powerful with bow. I, I just don't I just don't even know if there was ever an opportunity to approach him with a normal weapon. It can't get any worse. I mean, once we get into master rank. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's it's good that we were able to get past the Zenogre because he, he definitely has the, the greatest amount of computer crashing potential. I really like this arena. It feels fair. Oh, it's a little dodo. You know, that, that fits Dodo. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. How did he even get me with... Guys, I've got, like, no stamina. Like, I can't even roll off this Blast Blight. Mm. 
I, this is much better than AT Dodo because when we fought AT Dodo in that one um, quest pack, he just had like, I don't know, slightly faster speed. He didn't have any new moves. I mean, I would, I would say that was like a fair, that felt to me like a fair fight. Like to, to me, that was like infinitely more interesting to fight that Dodo than it was to fight a normal Dodo. Because he did some stuff, right? <laughs> I mean, he shot me with Water Blight when he roared. And what, he gave me Fire and Blast Blight? I don't know if he normally gives Fire Blight. I mean, but certainly after Zeno Stygian Zeno Jiva, um, he's a lot easier. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the DMC music. I, I'd say for monsters, like tier one monsters, I feel like they all have to pretty much be given like a speed buff. Um, you know, maybe it may be a life buff. I don't know. But at the very least, they should be faster, like maybe like 20% 20, 20 faster. If you could like give them like an enrage thing. And I know we we're talking about making it so their enrage timer was permanent for anything that's like tier one. Because that, that seems reasonable to me. Oh, dude, I like pineapple on my pizza. Wait, just pineapple or ham? If you ordered simply just pineapple lot in this, you were a monster. With ham? Okay, that's fine. I like Hawaiian pizza. Insurance? Pog? All right. So if we get down to our final cart, we can maybe find a way out of this one. Ham is the most boring pi uh, pizza meat? Depends how good the ham is. This is scary. Oh, it's Nergigante! Oh god, no! It's hard to see. Is it going to hit him? in the wrong direction. No, please, please, please don't. His eyes are all like cloudy, yeah. He <laughs> gave me thunder blight and bleed.
How is he using fire attacks? Well, he's Zeno, right? So... Oh, what I want to know is where is he getting his thunder and bleed from? Stop it. Don't do it. And I kind of want to wait and see what happens when he does his dive. Now the quest today, uh, we fought a very difficult Stygian Zenogre. But outside of that, we've been doing okay. Oh god. Can I let him dive? Alright, after this big bang, if he's not dead, I'll let him dive. You guys want to see that? I know you do. Well, that has some range on it. I think it's just going to shoot a lot of beams. That's my prediction. He's got his arm, he's got his tail, he's got his head. Yeah, he's he should he should be diving soon. He's shooting out flamethrowers now. Well, kind of worked out. Whatever the flamethrower is, I don't want you fixing it. That is good behavior. Oh no, it's crashing! I think it's crashing. Hold! No. <laughs> Alright, I gotta, I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him really quick this time, guys. Why people ask for that? I mean, it's I mean, did I, I, I didn't struggle. I mean, it's, it's Nergigante. Like, I had him to his final stagger threshold. All right, so we're going to cheat. We're going to cheat a little for this next one. I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to use the defender gear. We got, it's got some... It's got some balance testing. Oh, bone cuss. I'm so sorry you ended up missing the, um... Oh, what was it? Stygian's an ogre. Stability... I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and say it right now. Stability is not... Not the priority. Not not even a little bit. More lasers. Was Stygian insane? Yeah. 
That was Xeno. Apparently, it's worse if it's Frostfang. Silverio, hello. And, like, this is just Albino getting started. Like, there's only five monsters being mixed in, like... Oh, we got insurance again. Uh, the way the, the randomizer works is it's, it's gotta be fixed seed for the whole game. I don't, I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where we're able to make it randomized per quest. Although that would be amazing. Can I turn the game up a smidgen? I turned it up a smidgen. The um the bow is actually one of the more balanced defender weapons. It just like it doesn't benefit from the crazy sharpness that defender weapons get. Is this the ice mod? This is the spiritual antithesis to the ice mod. This game, this mod is designed to make the game harder, not easier. Some really good things in the ice mod that I do like, like fixing the farms. Looks like the fog went away. Oh, wait, no, maybe, maybe not. Are the weapons adjusted also? Nope. What changes for the farm? You can use as much fertilizer as you want. Did you miss after Kushala? You missed Xeno Stygian is probably the most interesting fight you missed.
Copium the farms? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's, it's a reasonable change. I mean, it's because that's just like, it's a little bit of an annoyance. Monster bones? Uh, if you're fighting high rank monsters and low rank, you can carve them for monster bone large, usually. If you're fighting master rank monsters, you can't carve them at all. You just climb up there. Have you tried all weapons? Which one is on the top? Uh, I do play all weapons. I, I think all the weapons are really good. Some weapons are a little bit less fun to play, like... A lot of the more popular styles for heavy bowgun outside of normal three are kind of boring in my opinion. But, I mean, you know. There's a, there's a certain satisfaction, I guess, with throwing on a shield and just spread-shotting things to death. That was a gold crown, I guess. Next is Toby, right? Uh, this is not the I this is not the ice mod, so uh, this is the stock balance for all of the weapons. So I would I wouldn't say heavy bowgun. I wouldn't say heavy bowgun was nerfed at all in world. The only thing that is a little strange is like the monsters hit zones, like for like Alatrion and Fatalis is a little little strange for shots. Same thing with Safi. They did that with a lot of the the normal shots. Well, I mean, it might get rid of the guard, but doesn't it give uh, Gunner's Blade Master defense? So I don't, well, I don't know. I think they reworked defense scale. I mean, I don't know what to say. What's the question, Bonecus? I mean, we're going to be doing more. I mean, we'll probably be trying to finish this run on Monday. And if, if there's going to be changes to, like, the monsters, uh, if you got texture files from, I can have them loaded up for them. Oh, you got them done last Oh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I thought I checked the... Oh, no. This one's going to be easy. Well, I'm on fire and poisoned, so... Well, you have um, poison resist, though. I mean, it's not... It's only poison resist level one. But I mean it's gonna it's gonna help a lot. Honestly, easier. 
probably easier. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, something might happen if she charges up. Would I let her supernova? I think she's gonna do that on her own. I don't think I have to let her. I think she'll she'll find a way to, to make that miracle happen. Are there are pods up here. No. Yes, but no. Let her do her nova. I mean I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna like have to let her. She's just gonna end up doing it. That looks amazing. So she's going to be farting out heat and poison all over the place? What are the chances that it'll crash the game? Probably okay. Eh, good enough. Thanks for the heals. Oh, she's getting beat, guys. You may not see a supernova, I'm sorry. At the same time, though, I don't know if I necessarily want to give her an opportunity to crash the game. God, I'm just like melting though. I could flash her. I don't know if I have any flashes left. Sorry, too easy. I'm sorry, I don't want the game to crash. <laughs> it already crashed once. I don't want to crash again. Wow, she's giving me tails. Is she giving me real stuff? Oh my God, she's giving me real stuff. Why am I like this? I'm a bully, okay. It's just a Toby Kadachi. What a great run. I'll just check on something real quick. It's a high rank Luna. Uh, it's technically a low rank Luna. I mean, it's low rank Toby Kadachi. I think I could upgrade this hammer. I've been getting large monster bones. It's 
So I feel really dumb for asking this. Does poison actually do anything to Luna in this game or Tia? Does it actually drop their aura at all? I'm pretty sure it doesn't, right? Uh, I think the possible movesets are Pookie Pookie, Zeno, Valhazak, Alatrion, and then there's one more. Only Elder Seal? I don't like that. And Frostfang? Oh no. Have I just been like dodging Frostfang this entire time? Oh. I feel like I have. Like I've been very lucky. I'm going to upgrade this weapon. I feel like it's warranted. Ooh, I can give him the ghost set. That's cute. I mean, may as well, I guess. I don't know. But he's spamming the cast command. There's like a cooldown on it. It's random monsters, random moves. And like it's only beginning. Like this is just the the like this is alpha version one, essentially, right? That uh, meat. I guess it's not really alpha version one because Albino Donkey already did a lot of the work for the way the randomizer itself would work. And now it's just a matter of changing the monsters themselves. Oh, Jesus Christ, no! Oh, this is awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. How am I not just, like, gonna die? Like, seriously. So, if whatever happens... So, the only thing that we have to worry about tripling to, I think, is Teo. But if there's a, a monster that's consistently crashing the game, we could always... De just delete that one monster and just keep going through if we have to. <laughs> Wait, what was that fireball? His his fireballs are micro now. He's almost like balance. Oh no, there's no like. It's like no rocks anywhere. Oh, is the one where you're worrying about tripling. I'm not afraid. Because I, I could always just use Defender Gear. Oh god. You gave me 15 carts on a... How bad could it possibly... Don't say it. I might need to switch to bow, guys. They they tripled to Tio. 
But that was just like Tio. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I guess I could start doing this a bunch. I don't know what I'm gonna I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh my god, I got a silver Raffalo shard? It actually dropped? Thank you, chat. cool He's just vomiting all over the place I need I need to heal The bite made Xeno explosions and a crash your game. That sounds unfortunate. My favorite dong laser so far? Uh, Stygian Zenogre. Like, I actually have to start, like, aggressively using, like, the clutch claw attack just to get him out of the air. Do all monsters get dong lasers? Uh, lots of them do. Can I show you my dong laser? Uh, I'm not a monster in the game yet. Yeah, uh, Iceborne added the Clutch Claw. So you cannot use the Clutch Claw uh, if you do not have the Iceborne expansion. It's actually, it's a kind of unfortunate that the game functions expecting you to have um, the expansion. Most games aren't like that, but because they wanted people who didn't have the DLC to be able to play with people that people that did, I guess they had to do it that way. This sucks. Hard. Right, we're just gonna we're gonna end this.
You've worn out your welcome, Silver. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the people that were really enjoying that fight, but I wanted it to end. Or his eyes zombified. He unfortunately closes his eyes when he dies. Oh, pods should 100% 100 be nerfed. 100% pods should have their damage reduced to whatever the pod would normally do. <laughs> make silver lowest gear. I don't know if they make anything. I mean, uh, you, you get just enough stuff to upgrade your cat and that's it. Best part about the randomizer is it takes the Zora quest and just makes it a normal quest. Uh, by now, I'm assuming you coded it to always give these scales or something? We've occasionally played around with making it easier to build armor. In fact, I'm pretty sure Albino probably set that up so that I'll get some, like, it's a lot easier to make monster armor. Yeah, the Palco's ranking up, I think, based on um, the monster level. Whatever. I mean, if you want to call it a level, I don't even know what you want to call it. I mean, I got a bunch of... Anjanoth scales, so there might be some pieces of Anjanoth armor that's... No, I mean, this development is actually really nice, Archpez, for for the randomizer. Well, th there was an issue, remember, when we would spawn Great Jagras, and we would just load into the map, and then there would just be a dead Great Jagras. I forget how we fixed it. I say we like I did anything. I didn't do anything. That's weird. Hmm. Now there's there's just some stuff you got to be I guess aware of. But it was funny because you would just show up and there would just be a great dead Jagras in the middle of the arena and no music or anything. And you'd be like, what happened? Why is our boy dead? So the randomizer is one part. There, There is like, I do have a thought... Um, that at some point it'd be great to create like a, like almost like a total conversion of world, changing lots of the monster values and equipment values with the idea of it being like a world 2.0. You now with harder monsters, like balanced harder monsters, but still harder monsters and maybe rebalancing the skills a little bit as well. What is the theme I use at the beginning of streams? You usually are listening to Fire Temple by Delay Lama. I think for that, though, I would actually have to start learning how to use the tools and get my hands dirty. Because I, I can't expect Albino Donkey to do, like, everything. Oh, it's just, uh, Azure Lowe's. Okay. Yeah, no, the, um, the changes of the, the arena bone cuss are actually really nice. Like, it actually feels like you're constantly changing areas now. 
And even when you're not, like, I've been in the Origin Isle a bunch, and it still feels fine. I can delete him if I want. Do you not like Azure Rapalos? I don't think many people do. Vomiting on me. Oh, chat's gone for this one. So he can't heal me. I'm iced, by the way. Oops, all hazard. Can I say, Albino, you give me permission to use the Dragon Razor or the Roaming Ballista? Well, that's broken. All right, we, we won't be we won't be doing that again. But he's a cursed creation, who does not deserve to live. This is a simple, Pookie Rathalos. How does it work with the random moves? So basically each monster still has their original move set and then layered on top of that is one of five different move sets. So it can be Pookie, Valhazak, Frostfang, Alatrion. Uh I forget the fifth one. Xenojiva. And um that's just for now. I mean Albino Donkey's still testing things out and finding out what other monsters are compatible. I already forgot Zeno you know, from the trauma. It's just, I, I don't have a lot of brain space. I actually got Zora stuff from that. God, imagine that with heavy artillery, how badly that would have messed up that Azure. So we're getting up to the cursed quest. So we're going to have what? Palomu, uh, Radabon, Legiana, and then Oda. We're, f we're four quests away from a quest that Albino Donkey thought would be so difficult. He gave me 15 carts? It can, there's nothing that can be that hard. Unless it's like I don't I don't even know, like Frost Fang Alatrion? Alatrion Jiva? How difficult be to update quote to include a shed thirteen before each quote? I have no idea. I don't remember crashing at Radabon Albino. I mean, if it happens, it happens. Like, it's fine. I I, I didn't turn off um, auto saves, so. How difficult at this point would it be to change the randomization so that moves are randomized independently of one another? I'm assuming it's only a couple variables you'd have to change. Rather than going all Xeno, like you would have it pull from each list. Uh, it's it's definitely possible to get a Frostfang Vol. Yep. It's possible to get a Vol Frostfang. Because I, I I want it I want it to be as random as possible. I mean, we should at least test it to see how good or bad it is. 
but it'll be exciting because like now we we see one move we're like oh this is going to be this monster but if it's fully random you have no idea how would the color mixing work with that you would take like the first move or you would take all of the moves i don't know you're the you guys are the ones that know how to code things i don't know how to do that Castle shot in the arena rotation? I don't know if we tried. Just have everything be brown. The only thing about Castle Shroud is that's one that has like cannons and um I guess it would only have cannons, right? You'd never get to the second phase. I think the Elatrian Arena should be in, but I haven't seen it yet. Oh no, CC's Flash definitely does something, Oil Fant. I saw a video of him flashing and exploding out a Frost Fang, like, Ice Blast, so... So what were those fixes? Like, how were you able to figure out how to fix them, Albino Donkey? Because it's been great. Because even when I was playing those other mods yesterday, you'd occasionally have the monsters roar and try to leave the arena. It's really impressive that you're able to figure that out. Because that's always, like, an opportunity to, like, roll a roar and then jump on them and tenderize. That's, like, it feels unfair. Huh. That's really interesting. I mean, it makes sense that it works in the arena. The only thing that we saw that was really weird that one time was, what was it, Devil Joe trying to attack my Palico in the Zora quest? Fenrax, thank you. You're hopping into a, a delightful stream. Didn't we need the Sturdy Bone for something? I thought there was an upgrade I could get with that Sturdy Bone. Oh, oops. I'm running too far. I think. Am I? Hold on. I'm having a stroke right now. Massive straw, it's regular. My brain is bleeding all over the place. Like on your first playthrough, Albino? Randomized track gathering to be cruel? Oh, don't do that. Uh, because we fought... Uh, Kushala Deora, though, there's a possibility we're going to be able to skip the Kushala track gathering. It's actually a pretty big benefit of this. Oh, did you forget where Tsitsiyaku was? I don't blame you. I almost ran past it myself. I think I need to get a second coral crystal. 
This is assuming that I'm going to want to go down the ore tree, which I, I don't know that I'm going to, but. We'll see. I don't. I feel like the defender weapons, even with a more powerful monster, still feel a little bit like cheating. Hmm. Oh, I didn't shoot anything out. I just want to see what she's going to do. Not very interesting. Maybe she's got to be enraged to do something. Might just be Frostfang. I mean, Cat, you're not. This isn't a normal speedrun. This is not even a timer on. We'll see when we when we get the fighter, I guess we'll see. Oh, we haven't got uh we haven't been in this arena yet. I'm kind of excited. I didn't know this arena was in the list. Oh, this is so nice. There's so many arenas we can go to now. Excuse me? What is that in the background? Oh no. I don't have any I don't have any null berries. Yeah, I don't really know what I expected there. I'm, um, I'm going to purchase some null berries. <laughs> I'm going to purchase some. Before, before we even get started. That's actually, that's a hard map because there's no restocking there. Those are expensive. But um, my cat's got a, a fire weapon. That's got to count for something. Oh, I didn't eat. Oh.
Randomized resistances would be cool. Um, I think it's an interesting thought. I don't know if it would be that helpful. What is that? He was on the ground shooting out lasers. I'm gonna have to take him over to the hill. Jesus Christ. I have to take him over to the hill and try to get some uh, spinning attacks off on him. What is that? No! No! Uh. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. At the very least, it doesn't feel like there's as much uh, miasma floating around. Because a lot of the miasma shots are now lasers. <laughs> it's so powerful. No. This is insane. This is insane. No, 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 no. such a mistake. <laughs> it's so cool. Shame. Jesus Christ, I'm so close to it. Can I space it correctly? Yep. It looks so good. Fume, hello. Good morning. I hope you're doing well today. Dude, look at all those beams that come out of him.
in a way, it's actually a bit safer because it only goes in a linear direction. It doesn't sweep back to forth. <laughs> He's still very powerful, Precious Stones. I'm not worried about it. I just got to play a little bit more carefully. I mean, his attack seems very high. I mean, our armor isn't quite keeping pace. Just... <laughs> Dude, it looks so good. It looks so good. That's unreal. There's lasers in the air burning into that tree. Oh my god! Ah! Do I got it? Do I got it? No. You're not gonna get it. That was so true. <laughs> I thought I was safe. Uh, we already fought uh, Lunastra, so we should not be getting Lunastra again. That kind of popped out to the side of him. We did Kushala as well. Kushala was almost the hardest. Although I guess nothing really compares to Stygian. Oh, he did move it over to the side. Got me in the air. I guess I just gotta hope that this hits. Moveset feels a bit one-dimensional. Future versions are going to be uh, a little bit more random. I 
I mean, it's still very da It's almost like too dangerous. Because you almost can't even go against it. Like, there's really, there's like no evading through that. Imagine if every time you clutch clawed a monster, they just started shooting out like chafes to explode you while you're in the air. For some reason, the carves for Master Rank monsters are working in low rank, which is kind of odd. I would say actually easier with lasers possibly than just the miasma. Raver Thunder, thank you. I mean, that being said, like I still carded twice, so. And I took 10 minutes, 11 minutes. Wow. Totally amazing rewards. Okay. Okay. All right. Expect a crash from this cutscene. That's fair. Just double make sure it's saved. So it could be a crash, guys. We're gonna we're gonna find out. It's the Radabon cutscene that's supposed to crash, right? And you whip pennies at my head. You wanna whip pennies at my head? That is exactly five pennies, thank you. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the, the game's kind of cursed. I was expecting something horrible to happen when he did that. Take your Kurosiga. I'll take your Rainbow Penny. Uh, I'm pretty hyped for Rise on PC. It looks really good. I'm excited to see what we can do with mods. My Hunter's face is funny. She just can't believe what she's seeing. I mean, those mods are okay. I, I mean more like gameplay mods to change things around. Val, Miasma Clouds became Paraclouds? Oh, I mean, definitely. I mean, just imagine what's going to happen when uh, Albino Donkey gets to Great Jiros and things just start spraying Great Jiro stuff out all over the place. It's definitely possible. What is this chaos run? I mean, you're just, you're just gonna have to wait and see.
Yo, that was even better than I was expecting. Well, the nice thing for you then, Anthem, is by the time you start to get a little bit tired of the Rise PC release, uh, the expansion will be coming out, so. That is definitely a Latrion, a Bon. Oh, no, no, he was shooting out. He was definitely shooting out some Alatrion, Alatrion stuff. Do you need a new save of this mod? Uh, no, I mean, in theory, you could... Um, you could even just load it into a pre-existing save and just fight monsters and see what the hell they're doing. I don't know if this is worth it. I'm just so used to doing it, you know. It basically, John, it basically just changes all the monsters and, like, their configuration files. The, the biggest thing is if you were to try to do this multiplayer, you would absolutely want to make sure everybody was running the same thing because I, I would assume it would either be really buggy at the best or just crash at the worst. Use the bathroom, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm going to take, like, a uh, couple minutes, guys. Jen's not feeling good, so I'm going to take uh, care of her. I'll be back in, like, five minutes, so I'm just going to give you the, the waiting screen while I do that.
Yeah, those those nano machines are getting her hard, guys. She hasn't a good, had a good reaction to any of them. She gets very achy. But I, I set her up with crackers and Tylenol and Gatorade. Got her a pillow. She'll be okay for a little while. I should probably get cool drinks. You guys are talking about pointing. Was I nice to her? I gave her a hug. Yeah, I think I was pretty nice to her. I don't know. Radabon. Or Denial. Or Denial is a good uh, map for me. I mean, it's it's going to be a day at least, Santa Bomb, probably before she feels better. She's mid being anist, so it's, it's not going to get better. At least right away. Crack? What? Well, this is a good matchup. Right? There's been multiple dollars in a try release on PC? I would spend at least a dollar on try and PC. Haven't even seen what he's gonna do yet. Woo! Well, we found our first Hazak monster, right? Whoa, 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 no, 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 <laughs> that was amazing. That uh that the effluvium is like oppressive. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, uh, I don't think we have any access to effluvium resistance. Uh, I'm going to try it again. Just no changes. Um, can I upgrade my weapon? Put on defender armor. It's not worth it. I might put on the piece... That gives me health up. This one. Just hate the way it looks. 
that's all I really need. I don't need full defender. Do you play this game online or does Capcom get angry? Um, you know, I haven't heard of anyone getting banned. You know, that being said, like, it would be irresponsible of me to say that you won't get banned. I mean, assume any time you play with any non-stock game, you got a chance to get banned. But if you're not doing anything that's, like, negatively affecting other players, that you're going to get, like, reports on you, I, I doubt that would get you in trouble. And if anything, people would probably just crash if you try to play with them anyways. It's debatable whether or not Capcom is even aware that they have a Steam release of this game. So to win this quest, we gotta go full bully. Capcom has said don't use cheating mods? Oh. I don't know they had a, a public stance on the ice mod. Interesting. Oops. We gotta get him as quickly as possible. on fire with his head. too close. I'd, I'd rather not get a fluvium if I can help it. That's funny because it's like he's coming for you and then he can't he can't go for you anymore. He's already dropping thorns. Can I wait for his gas to clear out a little bit? Christ. It just bulldozes through you so quickly. It does so much damage, too. And then he lights you on fire and stuns you. Ah! can't you can't let him get moving oh 
This is it for me, I think, maybe. I mean, this is this is a whole different type of terror than what I'm normally used to. <laughs> With a fluvium resist would still be banned, bro. You'd still be taking tick damage. Are these modded monsters? Yes. <laughs> yes. The Slinger Torch might actually help a little bit. Can't let him start farting. Look at Ch Chad is like dying right now. You okay, little buddy? He's like tweaking out. Uh, you go to the Discord. I'm gonna join the Discord. Why not join the Discord? Now let's switch that audio back and put that back on. What was his gimmick? He was secretly Valhazak. He was farting all over the place. It made one of his attacks tactically a little easier. It made it different. He didn't throw trees at us anymore. It's funny that you can get his research in low rank. Oh, you know what? Let's, um... This guy down here lets us do our... Harvest tree, right? Rathalos is a machine gun, but it's a tree. I very much look forward to that. Who's the guy that takes care of? Oh, it's probably him. No. Is there a tree person? I can do everything but restock my honey. Like, who cares about the tail riders? I mean, I'm sorry. Whatever. The farm will die. We'll just grow it again next time. So how does the Odo quest work? Albino donkey. If I fail here, do I fail forever? All right, hold on. I'll, t I'll turn off auto save after this. Fire traps? But wait, how does it, like, I have to actually do the Odo quest, right? Like, I can't back out and do it? Or am I just going to spawn into the new arena? I think I just spawn into the new arena. 
I mean, I already have autosave on, so I'll just turn off autosave. Uh, it is a shame that they don't call back try more often, uh, Anthema. Oh wait, is it the Legiana that's cursed or is it the Odo that's cursed? It's probably the Odo that's cursed. This is, this is still Legiana. Yeah, before doing the Odo cutscene, I'll just make sure to turn off autosave. Doing Iceborne too? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going through Iceborne. The, the run through low and high rank is pretty quick. Because we, we do end up skipping quite a few cutscenes. I don't know if six hours will be enough for all of Iceborne. Maybe. Maybe it'll take like eight hours. I really don't know. We got some poison knives. Very excited. I really like this map. Ah, it's just a pink raffian. Dude, things turn into zombies when they spawn here. Okay, I'm now poisoned and on fire. Is it Pookie Raffian? Oh my god! Okay, I guess it's a Latrion. <laughs> that wasn't that impressive. No. Oh my, it's so annoying taking a hit. I mean, Bonkus, you say it's similar to a Frontier Wind Press attack. I mean, now that we have a better idea of how the attacks actually are, are made and function, like, it kind of makes sense, right? Uh, 
Uh, Ravix, yeah, I mean, if you just download it, it will work. Oh, shoot! Dude, Alatrion is such a blessed monster for them to become. Oh no! Oh shoot, I forgot I had flash pods on. Fog's annoying. Uh, we don't really know how to get rid of it. I don't know. It kind of looks spooky. It also turns them into zombies, for whatever reason. I had no idea she was so, like, damaged by exhaustion. Monsters getting, like, cool attacks like that when they enrage is really neat. Jesus Christ! <laughs> She's like, I'm not going down without a fight! I mean, it's a Rathian, guys. I mean, what do you want from me? That's supposed to be its fireball, I guess? This is the first time I've ever seen exhaustion actually last in a monster for like any significant period of time. Oh, Josh, it's going to be a lot stranger than that. It's going to be a lot stranger than that. I just bullied this monster, so. Alatrian moves for all monsters. Just, just every monster has a Latran by default and then they get bonus layers on top of that. All right, so we got to be careful. We have to save. And then we have to turn off auto save.
This is like the speedrunners of Legend of Zelda's where there's a randomizer? Uh, th the concept is a randomizer, yep. I mean, I guess if we ever got, like, really scared in this quest, we could always just, like... Roaming Ballista the thing. But I think we're going to be okay. Well, that's pretty much the worst possible thing that we could have gotten. Oh my... It's Val Bracadios? Oh my god, no! So screwed. Hey, at least we're getting like electrocuted and not slime. Oh no. <laughs> he might be easier. This might actually be a little easier. Uh, not Parrot, th Thunder Blighted, you know what I mean. He's also moving kind of slow. reason he's so slow he feels slow yeah that's what thunder blight does it makes you more likely to get stunned oh no Why is he doing this? What happened? To use the word simple, not terrifying. Now he's terrifying. I'm gonna be stunned. I might die here. No, no, I mean, he's he's fine. I don't, I don't think you gotta fix anything. That was just interesting. That was interesting behavior. That noise is insane.
That's fine if is you know him being slower and low in high rank I think is fine. It's a little bit more balanced. When he doesn't have his slime on, he's such a sweet little baby. When he does have his slime on, he is like the Lord of Terror. Aerial Hammer is definitely very generous. See you, Fume. Have a good day. Have a good weekend if I don't talk to you before I end the stream again. No problem. I love how I'm actually getting like these these master rank carves in low rank. I, I, I feel like that shouldn't work like that. Maybe it depends on the map or something? This map has a lot of ways to cheese things, yeah. You've got, a, like, a huge ramp connected to a side thing here. I don't think we get the ammo for this. I mean, this is to say nothing of the roaming ballista. Who did this one? This is all a bino donkey. Still in school for coding, and yet literally one of the most talented developers I've ever seen, so. You mentioned something about one quest giving me a lot of decorations? This isn't going to crash the game, is it? <laughs> That's a little disappointing. Get double. What if you could just keep stacking affinity sliding to 100%? Alright, I guess we could put uh, auto save back on. We haven't gotten any Monster Bone Pluses yet. Hex got a job with Capcom doing stuff like this? Exactly stuff like this, right? You know, it's just a, a willingness to do Anthem. It's just a willingness to do weird things. Like, just experiment with things. Like, I don't 
I don't know necessarily that Albino Donkey is at coding God yet, although he's definitely very proficient. But it's the, the creativity in, in terms of like knowing what you want to do, I think is as important as knowing how to do it. I'm saying an anathema. I think the I think people got to give Capcom a little bit more credit too about how possible this is in the first place, right? <laughs> like they kind of make it easy on you. I'm going to grab this. The only time that I know of in history, and I was watching a video on it last night, ProCal, where Nintendo was actually kind of okay with a fan project, was actually the translation of Mother 3. Which is kind of strange. <laughs> oh, right. This Rathalos is like invisible for some reason, right? I don't think we know why this happens exactly. It's spooky spooky! My hunter's always scared. <laughs> Has anybody ever peeled off his hat? and mask to see what his face looks like in detail because it looks kind of terrifying it looks like he's just got like one big eye yeah i i um i, I turned the auto save back on already An armor sphere. <laughs> Beef jerky. I don't know, maybe. It's going to be hard to get upgrade materials for our weapon.
What the hell? Oh, you ain't it. Yeah, okay, you added some things. I was so confused. I was like, what is this? It actually looks like something's... No, no, the Mega Potions are still there. Yeah, no, I was, I was going to say they have to get sent to the box. But we still don't have any slots yet, so... I mean, I guess we could. But we, like, I've been doing okay... Um... Even without my asthma resistance. Well, that's really interesting that you can't use it. Well, you probably have to go through the tutorial to use them first. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be so bad. That was a tough evasion. It seems like Xeno. Oh no. Oh God. We didn't die. But yeah, that water blight is rough. The water blight's really hard because, like, I want to use some, like, you know, charge attacks and. Stop, please. I just accepted the water blight.
Dude, it's like every hit does um water blight. And not again! It's so, like, oppressive. I don't have any good heals. Oh, no. Oh, no. Should be able to get a pop out of this pretty easily. Oh <laughs> god, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> Not afraid. Not scared. A little afraid and a little scared. It's not Namiel, it's um it's Zeno. I'm gonna once I once he starts dropping pods, I'm gonna crap on him with um slinger bursts. You guys ever notice the ship there? I never noticed that. Guess I never looked up. The the tail slice into the explosion is probably the greatest thing I've ever seen. I'm a little worried. Stop. You're heading out? See you, Tank Mecca. Have a good day. No! No! Oh, and I got Water Blight, too? No! All right, there's, a, there's still a small chance I could get this. I'm mashing so hard right now, you have no idea. I wonder if you become, if you get lit on, oh wow, good job, chat. Uh, if you get lit on fire and moist at the same time if he hits you with his tail. I feel like that layers multiple explosions at the same time when that goes off. I told you this was happening. I thought I saw another pod somewhere. Pulling out the cheese, there's only 300 damage.
Getting hit by the sword is so much better than getting hit by whatever else I would get hit by. He's so close. He's on his last pod. Yo, is that the first time we saw him actually do a full laser? I think that was. My monster ranking? Someday. I don't think this is necessary, but we're going to tenderize the head just in case. It's just in KO damage anyways. By Rathalos. Cool to get a mantle out of this. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Every war has done it. Every war has done the dong beam. That's true. We have not seen any low rank monsters, have we? I mean, it does mean the late game could theoretically be easier. Whatever ends up being Shara, though, is always, like, so difficult. I don't think Fatalis is in the game. In the randomizer. I don't think he could work on anything other than Castle Shroud. But, I mean, there will be some interesting experimenting on him, for sure. Congrats on HR100 ZMTL. Now, could we give Alatrion Fatalis moves? Probably. I don't see why not. A small monkey. Oh no. Oh no, I'm already stunned. Don't do it. Well this this arena is Okay. I think we finally found our first uh, frost fang. I can't see crap. No, 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 no. Oh, somehow I did not. Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're, we're going to do it. <laughs> the, the water ice blight combo is a hell of a thing.
No, we're going to be fine. We're actually like a million times fine, so. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're just, uh, uh I'm absolutely going to take uh, advantage of the traps that are in the arena. They're there. All right. The randomizer giveth, the randomizer taketh away. Yeah, the, the for the most part, their their weaknesses and stats are unchanged. Some monsters got a little bit of a buff, but it's it's nothing like major. Like Gray Jagger's got extra life. Slayer Falcon, thank you. Slayer Falcon just resubscribed for eight months. Hit zone randomizer one. Just like rotate around where their hit zones go. One hit! No! Not fair. What's supposed to do with that? No, please, don't. Chat, no. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, look at this stamina recovery. It would be faster for me just to eat a, ra a ration. Let me take my ration again to recover my stamina. That was probably a mistake. Uh, base chain definitely does a laser. No, 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 we're gonna be stunned. We're gonna be stunned. No! Is this a challenge? Yes. Yes, I would consider this a challenge. Why didn't I buy null berries in town? I use I did. I just used them all. Cuz I didn't think I was going to get water ice blighted by Rajang when I was fighting a Diablos. Can't see anything. Jesus Christ! Well, it's not a beam anymore. But uh he doesn't let you just 
uh, clutch claw him when he does that anymore. Any hit. Any hit stuns you. I can't, I can barely see him. I know he's in there somewhere. No, 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 no! No, no. Oh, God. What is this? Yo, how sick would that have been if it did anything, though? It's like a little micro patch on the floor. What will he do if I step on it? Go fight when I'm trying, Mr. Smiley Colon. I'm not I'm not going into that. That's an impressive move he can do. Never liking me, thank you. Good luck with the new monkey. I mean I'm gonna need it. Something. Yeah, he's not exhausted for long, is he? No, 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 no. Oh, chat, thank you so much. No, 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 no. He's close. I think I'm gonna slinger burst with the thorn pod will actually get a KO.
Alright, I'm gonna go under the ice. He didn't do anything, he didn't do anything too special. I keep forgetting that he's not gonna actually get me with, um, a beam there. Yeah, we need Dolberries very badly. No! I ran out of stamina. I was about to slinger burst him. You know, if I get that tail... Not worried, not afraid. We got this one. Oh, uh, we actually got Azure Rathalus already. He was pookie pookie. He wasn't that, he wasn't that scary. Not afraid. No, 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 we're gonna be fine. He is very resistant to KO. I mean, I know he's resistant to KO, but really, 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 really resistant to it. Who's my copium dealer? You have a friend that plays Destiny 2 and needs it real bad? He's playing a free-to-play game. I don't know what the problem is. should expect that it's going to play like a free-to-play game. I mean, the best part about this mod, guys, is like, it's like still just in its absolute infancy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> of it. The hardest part is like when he's in his ice cloud, like you cannot tell what's going to happen. I've got no stamina. I might just try and, like, mount him if he ever comes up here.
It's kind of funny writing Rajang. Oh no! 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 Everyone out there hating on the Clutch Claw. Interesting, I got four carves out of that. He doesn't normally give four carves, right? He usually gives three. Nice job. Mm. Mm, I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you like it. Going. Uh, I think that monster bone plus is what we need to upgrade our hammer. Uh, Xeno Alatrion are probably the most fun. Frostfang, it's hard to say, might be the most challenging. Pookie, for the most part, is just fun to look at, but it usually makes the monsters easier. Valhazak. I mean, if I ever get Miasma Resistance, I mean, that'll almost be a waste. Ultimately, all moves are going to get randomized anyways. And so, there'll be Xeno, Frostfang, Valhazak, Pookie Pookies. And, and that, that will be something. This is made by Vio. This is made by Albino Donkey. Does Zora get randomized? Yep. And he's going to have random stuff going on. Man, no bears are expensive. Gotta stop buying those. I should probably start just growing them. <laughs> the Zora gets the tune up. He's just constantly covered in fire. Just a fire aura everywhere. Oh, we're, we're finally be able to find out what Legiana was doing. Our only low rank monster in our low rank run. This is not a mod that lets chat donate for buffs or nerfs. No.
Technically, it's a high rank quest? Is it now? It almost seems like she's got, like, less moves. Oh, it's po okay. It's just Pookie. It's just a little weird because you get to fight Nergi Gante, but you don't get his actual parts if you break his shinies. So I think at least the assigned quest. Is technically still low rank. How come they never gave us Pookie that did that? Is he okay? Hello? Is she broken? I think she just died. Oh, you know what she's doing? She's trying to attack the Palico occasionally. I think she's getting distracted by the Palico. Where's the cat? Well, it's the Zora quest, so... The cat is hanging back. I don't... I don't know that there's really any way of fixing that. going on with the music though no music here uh every legiana from here on out should be poison The symphonic legion. Sounds kind of like a X-wing or like a Tie Fighter kind of. Yeah, see, that's her running over to bite chat. Chat permission to roaming ballista and just end this quest. I mean, somebody's like really enjoying this whole. I can keep going, but. a lot better than I thought she would. What is this sad music at the end? I guess that is the Zora clear music. And so you get the low rank uh, rewards, low rank carves rather than high rank.
Oh, Sarah, you're gonna enjoy this. Clutch Claw does more damage than the hammer? Uh, that's because Slinger Bursts are mostly scaled around Master Rank. We've never had an issue with Zora before. I mean, that, that felt like a... A normal amount of health, I guess, for whatever end of low rank monster. Maybe a little bit more. Ooh, we got a gem. That almost sounds like the Iceborne title music. I don't know. Oh, I'm, we may have had an immortal monster once. Or at least we thought it was immortal. I think I fought a Devil Joe once that felt immortal, but he wasn't. I just sucked. One Master Rank Deco is a treat. I think I saw that. It's very nice of you. All right, so I think we got to find the Pookie Pookie. And then we got to go back. And then we can do the do it normally. Welcome to Iceborne? I don't know. Well, I do remember there being... It was like... What was it? I was a mortal. And Rajang was the admiral? That was weird. This is normally when I start switching over to ore. It's kind of worth it. Thing is in the water area? No way. Are you saying he's not going to be in his normal little zone? It's still going to be pooky pooky. I'm so curious. I want, I want to see what he does, but I don't want to ruin the surprise for later. Not as cool as Spooky Spooky. I like Spooky Spooky. I'm not sure if I'd want to fight him invisible all the time, though. It gets a little frustrating. Do I have a display of Maldi? Not yet. Oh, that's right. We're going to be able to get Miasma Resistance. I'm, I'm worried that might make monsters that have the Valhazak set too easy. I feel like we should cap Miasma Resistance at level 1 or 2. Because if you have permanent Miasma Resistance, that makes any monster that has Fluvium like almost free.
Honestly, like, I, I mean, obviously, it, it's been a challenge occasionally, but it hasn't been impossible to kill things without Miasma Resistance. Well, this is really nice to already have Rathian maxed out. How hard would it be to make it so that you always see the Elders and Pink Rathian before their tracks came up so they were just always maxed out? Because that would be kind of nice. Like, it would ruin the randomizer, like, a little bit. Like, whatever, like, you couldn't get, like, a T.O. Shara, but, man, it would be nice to speed up the gathering. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. Fluvium is a crap status anyways. I mean, I guess you always kind of react to it in the same way. I just kind of wish it was rebalanced so it was more like a constantly damaging aura. Rather than, like, cutting your life in half. Oh, it's Fulger. Ooh, I love him. Wallbangs are not very effective. Actually. It's just an idea. I don't know if it's something that, like, is necessary or not. And like I said, it would it would take away from the randomness a little bit. But then again, those are always good fights anyways. Oh, I see. Is it, is it just me or does he look like he's kind of, like, glowing? What did that look like to you guys? Did that look like something kind of insane? I don't, I don't know what that is. Is he just gonna do nonstop Eschaton everywhere? I gotta take him over to my special hole. It's so bright, I can't see anything. Can you guys see anything? I can't see anything when that's going. can't see <laughs> I know what I should be doing oh yeah when he's fully charged it's gonna be a nightmare he just shot a random fireball when he landed
trying to get a wall bang off. Oh no. This is impossible. So insane. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry I wanted to get near you and fight you. Is it better to capture or kill? Almost always better to capture. Especially in World. In Rise, it's... It can go either way. It's still probably better to capture, though. I'm not so low. I mean, this, this Fulgur Anjanoth should not be allowed to live. Jesus Christ! We're just trying to hit you, Fulgur! Stop! Have any nice frostbang experiences yet? Uh, one of the hardest fights we had was a frostbang Rajin. It's literally like some something out of JoJo. Like, oh, you want to approach me, huh? And then he just explodes in my face. The damage could be much worse. I agree. I took him out normally. I didn't I didn't need roaming ballista. Roaming ballista is a little bit cheating until we get to master rank and even then it's a little cheating. He's only giving me monster bone small. It's different. His shiny give me a tail though. <laughs> Those are some messed up drop tables. Just a little guy. Uh, I'd like to get through high rank, uh, so sore it hurts, and we'll have a uh, master rank for Monday, maybe part of Tuesday. There's actually not that many quests in high rank, truth be told. Kind of digging the uh, the charms as like a quest reward thing. I'm really enjoying that. 
Well, we fought a pink Rathian, and we might have gotten some pink Rathian skills. So maybe. It's actually like really baffling how few like required hunts there are in high rank compared to low rank. And then the interesting thing is master rank has more hunts than low rank and high rank combined. Lurk and high rank are basically tutorials. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, Anjanov, if you're not used to Monster Hunter, is is a pretty big wall. And like, I guess you you learn some things when you do it, but no, it's just hard to say. Well, we still need two mo Monster Bone pluses. That's a little. A little troubling. Evade window two wouldn't be terrible. I mean, fortify wouldn't be awful either. I, I don't know if I want to use it though. I think I'll just put this on. Well, I don't feel this, the, the pinch on the weapon yet, but we will almost definitely have to go and, like, I don't know, like, find and hunt a great Jagras. Something like that. Master rank great Jagras gives Monster Realm pluses pretty regularly. I know when you were saying you were messing around with Great Jagras, you gave him, like, an infinite combo. Does he still have that? What the hell is that? Oh, God. So large. Oh my God, that's so much range. This is actually going to be easy. His beams are firing above his head. Well, when he hits, it's still a lot of damage.
Yeah, I gotta be careful. Oh my god, he just got me with Toxic! Oh no! <laughs> Melon bro, this is on PC? Yo, that's so troll! He, he did like a little belly flop and it got me with, with strong poison. I mean, I, I call it toxic, but I know technically that's not its name. Can I just hold on? Can I be this little? Can I be like, <laughs> can I just do this? I don't know if he could get on the second level. Although his lasers might be at just the right height. Oh no, he's coming up here! <laughs> oh my god, that was like out of a horror movie! Ah! And I've got... Oh my god, you get hit with the Toxic whenever you Clutch Claw him. Sometimes it does Toxic and sometimes it doesn't. That, he'll, he'll do it if he's in the ground like that. Oh. Oh, no. I've never been so owned in my entire life. Ever. Ever. Thoroughly owned. Thoroughly, totally, completely. Anist in every way. Get fished. Well, I kind of deserve it, so. Like I've never, I've never, I've never been outplayed that, that much by any monster, let alone a fish. Superstar, hello. Hey, I'm playing your favorite game, Monster Hunter World, exactly the way you remember it. Can I just be like a little gimp boy? But you know, I'm going to get poisoned if I do that. Jesus Christ. Stop! 
No, please, no. What an absolute nightmare. Elden Ring got delayed. So you don't really got to worry about Elden Ring as much anymore. Oh my god. Strong poison is so bad. It's like February now? You got a month to play Rise on PC. Interesting for them to know, like, exactly when they think that they're going to be able to release it. I can do, like, nothing without getting poison on me. Did I mod it? Maybe a little bit. May as well just do it anyways. The amount of time spent scrambling around trying to, like, get my life together is insane. Man, it would be su it would suck to be on that second level, wouldn't it? Alright. I think it's about... God damn it! Stop! No, no, no! Oh! <laughs> How am I doing? I'm doing okay, I guess. It's stronger. I might have to make, um, what are they? The alloy tacit? I would like to have some poison resistance, maybe. If I talk to this guy, he might actually give me, he'll give me a tack deco. Rubble medicine would help? Yeah, I don't think it's sold, and I don't think I have the materials to craft it. I guess I can meld for it. Got a lot of decos. I didn't get antidote. Oh, attack. It's just like the toxic, man. Like, it's like you get put into this horrible loop of curing it and then just getting it again anyways. I see anti-para and I see miasma. Can't do quick expeditions? Uh, we can. And we might to fight a great Jagras because we need... um. We need Monster Bone Pluses to upgrade our weapon. Uh, I mean, Melon Brew, I mean, I pretty much just use a controller. I've never really played this game with a mouse and keyboard before.
It feels so bad going out of your way to make something for like just the poison resistance. Look how few things we could actually make. I mean, I could just use the defender hammer, but that just feels like cheating. I'd rather not do that. Oh. Uh, well, I could craft the Lunastra hammer. Is that less cheating or more cheating than just using the Defender hammer? Crap, crap, Mandu will be doing more on Monday. I mean, I technically earned it. That feels like cheating, though. Can I mod your life? Uh, why would you mod something that's already perfect? All right. I mean, I guess that's what we're doing. I mean, I already got the tacit. Maybe now we'll be, we'll just like be fine. I lied, I can make herbal medicines. I can make exactly four of them. That'll make my life a bit easier. Quite a bit easier actually. So perfect, you carded Lavazioff? I don't know what you're talking about anymore. I have, like, no short or long-term memory. I mean, we'll see how badly it anuses the Lavazioff. I'm assuming it's going to get pretty anused. Yeah, I was talking about Superstar. I don't know what you, th you thought I was talking about. And that white sharpness is going to take us places. What's the rest of the sharpness look like? Decent amount of white, decent amount of blue. No. Go over there. That's important. It just shot a laser. You only seem to show up these days. Thank you for your money. You should stick around. I got a hell of a stream today. Please don't die. Where is it? There it is. And then right here. Okay. And then right. Here. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Road hiking 20 minutes? That sounds fun. Get 
lasered. The combination of Xeno projectiles with strong poison is actually very powerful. mistake. God damn it. It's the weird because like the projectile or whatever he's hitting me with to inflict toxic on me like doesn't it doesn't actually have like a visual hitbox? He just belly flops and then, like, I'm poisoned. I'm surprised it didn't happen there. Uh, we are out of the herbal medicines. I wonder if I can get him under those rocks. And like, random water blight as well just makes everything that much harder. Honestly, the hardest thing I fought. Every fight is water ice blight. Uh, did you min miss the Rajang who had stun element <laughs> physical attacks? I'm assuming you did. Because that was something. I'm going to take him to the upstairs. Do I like Ender's Ring? Uh, I haven't played Ender's Ring yet. Um, I might though. Didn't he have ice? Well, he had ice from the um, Frost Fang, but his physical attacks were for stun element. doing his mega beam as much as he was before. This one. Do I go for it? I guess. Well, that wasn't very good. We are getting very close, though. It's on his first pod. What do you think of stronger blight effects on her, but it builds up gauge in order to activate rather than an instant blight? Um, I don't know. I think it, I'm, I'm kind of fine with things the way they are now.
I mean, it's hard, but I mean, that's fine. I mean, it basically already is a gauge. Not all lights affect you immediately, or statuses at least. I recovered exactly as much health as I lost from the toxic. I think, I think the way it is now, Albino, like, I'm fine. Well, however you have it set up is... I mean, am I annoyed by the toxic? Yes. But that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just makes it a more, way more challenging hunt. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to come out different. I mean, it's just like, the reason why you don't see the fire blight as often is because I, I roll it off immediately. I mean, we had things that were dealing bleed to me. That was pretty crazy. He really doesn't want to let me flinch shot him, does he? He's got to be so close. I'm just going to go for it. Feel for elemental defense down? Is that what the Barnos does to you? It was like a Barnos or something in the Elder's Recess. Don't they shoot you with something? Jesus Christ. Taking this long with Luna Hammer and still almost tripling. Barnos' defense down? It's very possible. I'm just spitballing. Man, do you think people didn't like Lavazioth enough? Imagine if this was the Lavazioth we got. I mean, he's still only at Anjanoth rank. If this, there's a possibility. There is a world where this guy was the stand-in for um, Shara. Did I see Monkey? I did. I did see Monkey. We beat the Monkey. She had like a bird. Anjanoth, was it Pink Raffian? Energy counting. Matias got six points. Finally, look, guys, it was hard. <laughs> it was really hard. And yes, large monsters are generally harder than smaller monsters. Well, Lavasioth had some okay gear. I think he had spread up. That was okay in the base game. You used it a little bit. But, for, I mean, I'd say, yeah, for the most part, his gear was mostly underwhelming. 
There's just like too many monsters that had fire and his just never really stood out that far in the pack. Oops, all decos. I feel accomplished. Well, I mean, we, uh, a slugger. Okay. One point of KO is actually very nice. Third point for health boost is also nice. I guess we'll put Expert in. What the heck? Well, maybe Steadfast. Mod Gems next. Oh, we don't need to make the game any easier, ProCal. I mean, we, we got we got some decos from Quest Rewards now, which, you know, it feels mostly fair. It doesn't feel super broken. I think I would rather have... I feel like the Gilly Mantle honestly ends up having more utility than Vitality Mantle. The only major use for the Vitality Mantle is for... Oh, Swiss Speak Commander. Oops. Um, Vitality Mantle is for Miasma. Fume, welcome back. We just got through a very difficult quest. When is Monster in the World 2? Um, probably 20... 24? Maybe the very, very end of 2023, but doubtful. Tomorrow's Monster World 2? Yeah. It was a Lavazioth that was shooting off strong poison every time it flopped on the ground that also had Xeno Beams. It was hard, man. Why so long? Also, I mean, it's not a rule, but generally there's 18 months in between releases. And the next release we're getting is going to be this summer, this coming summer. So, you know, summer of 2022. So that means probably summer of 2023 at the earliest. But in reality, it's not going to come out that fast. It'll probably be early. Sometime 2024 is like the safe bet. It was challenging. It was challenging. I didn't, I didn't have any good way to counter the uh, poison. I could have dropped health, and I probably should have because I, I had an alloy task that I could have put on. And it would have given me at least one point of poison resistance, but whatever. It'll be 2024 before you realize it, so don't even worry about it. And there's still, like, Rise and Sunbreak to play through, so. It'll also be good for Capcom because I'm pretty sure they're going to want the next release to be like, you know, next gen or whatever you want to call them, current gen console only. And, you know, if they release it in a year, I mean, there's still going to be people out there that do not have next gen consoles. Oh. It's you. <laughs> it just vomited that fireball at me. Oh my god! Oh, it's, it just keeps going! The reason all the fights in the arena is uh, the monsters will break. Like, say you spawn an acidic in, like, the Coral Highlands. His AI won't function properly. It's something that we might be able to fix someday. We just don't know how to do it. Still trying to get his head, by the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Why is it two in a row? That looks so good. But there's just a flamethrower coming out of it and defense down. <laughs> what is that move? No, 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 no! This is awful. This is awful. I just need to put on a ghillie mantle right now. I'm almost on the verge of saying poison is okay. The thing is with strong poison though, is it like it it just shuts the fight down. Just a Raffian? I just casually dodge that? I guess. I do have evasion plus two. He's gonna toxic me. Check this out. He toxics me and fires me <laughs> when I clutch claw him. The utter bastard. Honestly, it feels kind of balanced to get against him, though. Because, like, he's so weak to Clutch Claw. He needs some natural defenses. Jesus Christ! <laughs> The guys, the mod is still like in like micro, micro alpha. Oh my God, that did so much damage. That did so much damage. It did so much damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to upgrade my armor eventually. Like, I'm gonna really try not to upgrade it until master rank but like it's gonna be it's already really bad god no <laughs> How did I get, you know, Juice, it's actually not a bad idea if like we had to come up with a name for the mod or like say we were going to make something like specifically like tuned and balanced. New Frontier, Monster Hunter World New Frontier would be kind of an interesting title. What 
come on, I wasn't. Well, I mean, I was, I was right next to your tip. Yeah, am I, yes, I'm on fire and I'm toxic. Stop. I'm not worried. I know I might look worried. I'm not worried. We're totally fine here. Totally fine. Not even sweating. <laughs> that roar was terrifying. I wasn't... I didn't even take damage. Oh god! Oh no. Oh no, this is back. Oh, this is back. It just being near me is like triggering toxic. Mega punished. I am gonna bomb pal the hell out of you. It's the poison. It was the fire blight and the poison combined. I'm going to put on. Uh, here's what I'm going to make. What is it? I got a, I got a thing. I got a thing I'm going to put on. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put this on. Oh, 
Do I have any other gear I could put on? I guess Zora chest just for defense. I mean, if you think about it, recovery is kind of like a way to counter poison. <laughs> poison resistance only lessens strong poison. Yeah, you can't completely get rid of it. I don't think, at least. In either case, this will... This will help a little bit. Oh, hold on. So just get more blast. Wasn't resuscitate be good? I'm against him, probably. We already have evasion plus uh, two, though. Electran Kushala was a challenge, yeah. yeah. I don't know what I would replace, though. I guess we just drop attack. I mean, we're, we're dealing fine damage. Commando jab, hello. Food's starting to get better. Looks better. The hardest part is just when you get caught in that loop of him, like, poisoning you and setting you on fire. Use gun lance. Uh, I don't think I can make a gun lance. Gun lance wouldn't be bad against him, though. Right. Right. have to go off of faith The, the tail flames are some of the most impressive things I've seen in this mod. I just love the way it looks. Am I finally going to get it? No. He just fell over.
I like how I was flying through the air and I was like connected to the tail. I wonder how much these blasts are going to help out with actually getting the kill. Should have grabbed some more pink meats. All right, hold on, we can do this. So there's a real challenge. If I want to clutch claw him, I have to be perfect or he Alatrion roars me and then I get like turbo anus. Or I just get turbo anus anyways. Yes. No, it didn't trigger the thing. Thought it was gonna trigger the thing. Good job, cat. Can I not have people saying turbo anus poggers in the chat, please? That makes me feel bad. <laughs> or hypers or whatever it is. <laughs> it's very distracting. Oh, God damn it. Now you're just doing it more. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah, now I'm blaming you guys. So like, not all of his attacks deal poison. It's like anything near his head, this is gonna do it. That didn't do it. Okay, now I'm a liar. There's like some state he has to be in to do it. Is it the fire though? Oh no. All right, it's the tail? It's definitely not everything. Speed eating might be better than specific blight resist. Uh, speed eating would definitely be good. Because it has the advantage of also just letting me have my mega potion IV drip. God.
God, no! <laughs> I mean, normally, like, this is just, like, it's just an odd coincidence that we got two conspicuous toxics in a row. He's definitely getting close. Ooh. That's what TA meant. <laughs> Oh, and we're getting monster bone smalls. Great. <laughs> Just pink Rathian. I think the armor helped a little bit. It must have helped a little bit. I definitely got pink Rathian scales. I think in the original version of the randomizer, we were making it so we would always get the parts for defender weapons, but I, I feel like they're not necessary. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick, guys. ダーフォスラン、ヒルセ。ミルトマラシ、セネトンライ、トゥ。レストロー、ラポラダウト。ノエガオリジツ、ヒルダー。ニューヒクソ、ニーグラ。コメ。ウヨイ、タク。ロベ
Uh, you could add the ZZ flashes. You actually could. Oh no! It crashed! <laughs> Let's try that again. If it crashes a second time, I have to disable the native PC. I know Albino Donkey was having crashes on, like, uh, going to the Rotten Vale. Honestly, adding, like, Nightshade Plomo attacks to monsters uh, that already had a good moveset might be interesting. Did I save? I have autosave on. Oh, that's annoying, though. Oh, is that annoying? <laughs> Let's watch it again. <laughs> Do I have cutscene skip mod? We've got a mod that kind of removes cutscenes. Most of them. Not all of them, though. I'm pretty sure it's going to crash, though. I'm like 95% sure it's going to crash. It's probably trying to load something that it doesn't know how to load. Fortunately, this cutscene isn't that long. I like that one guy in the Jagras armor just like scrambling around the ground, picking up all the crystals for himself. Could you replace monster attacks with siege weapon attacks? I don't think so. All right, saving. All right, get ready for a crash. If it crashes, it's not, no big deal. We'll just unload native PC and then we'll reload it. What? Oh, it's crashing. What is this quest? It's actually not a quest. It's the uh, expedition to go into the um, Elder's Recess. And I don't remember it crashing before. I don't know. Maybe there was a update that broke the previous cutscene skip. So that when we land in there, remember there's a, you have a conversation with a handler in the ad roll. I mean, you fix it or you just work around it. I mean, it's not, not really a big deal either way. 
It, it could be. I mean, it, it could be a number of things. Does this mod work with ice? Uh, probably not. I mean, it would work with aspects of ice, but I mean, all the monster attributes would probably be overwritten. I mean, try it and see. Install ice first and then overwrite this onto it. At the very least, um, probably the way weakness exploit worked would be reverted. So we've gotten through most of the tough monsters already. At least a number of them. There's still plenty more, but... I'm a little optimistic going into these final high rank quests. I don't, I don't know what the Admiral's ass looks like. Coral Pookie could be hell? Yes. Could you imagine him spinning a Xeno laser around? Bill Toto, hello. Ni hao, sexy. Coral with nightshade gas? I mean, we're not there yet. I mean, you would definitely use sleep resistance. Is sleep resistance still like... It's got to be like three points, right? Is that a three-point skill? That's like so strange. Like, there are certain skills that like obviously got way stronger into the world transition, and then there are certain skills that just got like unnecessarily nerfed, like bleeding resistance being three points. Ralph Caro. Thank you. Uh-oh. Stream's tweaking out a little bit. You're getting a slideshow. How's it going? You're going to love it when you see it, Ralph Caro. Give us uh, less than five minutes. Get to the next arena. I mean, during the uh, during the Admiral cutscene, I mean, if it's a PowerPoint, like whatever, who cares? You could easily get, definitely get a Palomu with Nightshade skills, absolutely. You're okay. I mean, it's it isn't that bad. It hasn't been. Super well, that's not true. There was one day it was like really really bad. It hasn't been super bad since I got the power conditioners When he roars something funny might happen 
don't know. I'm assuming Ergon is a Pookie. That's going to be my belief. Oh, you're right. Native PC is still blocked. Oops. Uh, only normal monsters. Normal monsters are so boring now. We want cool monsters. Every time, Fume. It's every time. It's weird how even if you have Nergigante's research maxed out, it still kind of forces you to go around picking up his spikes. Not that you would normally have an opportunity to really even farm Nergigante much before this. Well, I can tell you this much. It is definitely not normal Nergigante that we're going to be fighting. Could be Ruiner, I guess. Wait, did we fight Ruiner? Can't remember. All right, going to turn it back on. past all that stuff. Hopefully it doesn't act up again. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something in Iceborne that tweaks out. But I think there's no more... We don't have any more expeditions from here on out. Well, that's not true. We, we technically have to go looking for monsters' tracks, but... No cutscene loaded things. It's really weird that I'm getting like master rank ecologies in high rank. I it's just weird. Jay Summer, you don't it's easier shown than explained. You'll see it very, very soon. No, I Iceborne should be fine.
Let's buy some of those meats. I guess the interesting part is we could get normal Devil Joe now, along with Savage Devil Joe. Arguably, normal Devil Joe is harder. It's a lot harder to flinch him out of his attacks. Oh, I mean, doing it all today, Fume, I mean, there's like 28 hunts or something like that in Iceborne. I mean, it would be like a 18 hour stream. <laughs> it's these hunts are much more difficult, even skipping cutscenes like, you know, we're, we're carting sometimes. It's it's a challenge. I'm calling Kuluyaku. Come on, Kuluyaku. That is a Beatrice. <laughs> he just exploded my face. Let's try that again. <laughs> that was some damage. What is the prim? I mean, do do I need to say anything? Did you did you just miss what happened? You miss it? Hold on. Let's do let's do that again. Okay. Oh, don't blink this time, okay? Damn it. Nope. Oh, that got to go. Yes. 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 I guess I gotta go over the head here. I'm not gonna be able to get to the legs very easily. I don't even know if the body gets tenderized really, does it? class bullying here. <laughs> That's amazing. Yo, I'm kicking his ass so badly. Oh my god. Not so much a big tough guy when you aren't giving me strong poison and fire every minute, are ya, huh? Well, 
What's this little Lunaster hammer? I have no idea what happened to that Beototus relative to the Acidic Glavinus. Yeah, no, he seemed pretty weak to Blast. Why am I getting Lustrous skills? Why am I getting beautiful skills? What are these rewards? Whatever. I earned a free one, okay? No, I, just, I know they're money. I just don't know why I'm getting them. Attack Deco? I know I just got a shotgun of Decos, but that still feels kind of lucky. How's that one milk container doing? Did I figure out how to fix it? I finished the milk. I'm so sorry. I was really sad when I finished it, though. It was never fixed, though. The entire time I had it, it looked funny. So we should have um, Kushala already? The only character always so sad. You would be sad too. I don't think we fought Tio. I don't think we fought Normal Bow. We fought Black Veil. Fortunately, this is, like, extremely sp sped up in Iceborne, so it won't be as annoying as it normally is. And we have to do two areas, we don't have to do three, so... There was a while we were making it so we had like Scholar was always on the Talisman. It's not even really necessary, but it, it does speed it up just like a little bit more. It makes it so you can essentially one cycle. Just, you know, one and then done. As it is now... You can almost always two cycle. I think occasionally you can one cycle. Directly under my nuts. Right under my nuts is where the time zone Oh, really? Is. Look at it. Oh, it does have it, doesn't it? Well, never mind then. Okay. So we should only need 10 points. Oh, what a what a blessed change. Oh, it makes it so much better. I mean, that should be it when she talks. That means you've got 10. You probably don't even need 10.
I'll try it with five. Let's see if that's enough. Any more spicy monsters since Frostfang? Uh, I think you missed the two hardest fights in the run. There was a Lavazioth and an Acidic Glavinus that had strong poison on them. Toxic, whatever you want to call it. And they were, they were absolutely ruining me. Imagine dying to a fish. Uh, it happens. So what was the one time people got stuck? Was it on the Odo quest? They carded to like, Tio was in the Odo quest and then they carded and then they couldn't go forward anymore. I think that's what happened. I'm trying to remember. It's been like a year. Is that what happened to you, Moth? I can't remember. No, you made it, didn't you? Didn't you make it to, like, Behemoth? I mean, honestly, Odo has, like, low rank scaling, so it really shouldn't be that bad. You came in third? Wouldn't know what that's like. But, I mean, hey, I mean, better than most. What did you spend the one hundred dollars on? Almost everything else besides the top three lost to you. Tio was the uh, purifier, the cleanser. Well, I know it's Kushala, but it is definitely not Kushala. It's making a lot of noise. Oh, God. I think that's Frostfang seething. <laughs> oh, no. Hit this again. What? What the hell? What is he doing? No, 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 no. I want to get up one of these things. Help me. 
I was like, this will be easy. By the way, I am like 100% absolutely going to use the roaming ballista on him. No, 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 no. How is the game not crashed? How is this game not just crashed? He just shot a tornado at me. <laughs> he just crashed the game. <laughs> I'm not joking. Seriously, the game just crashed. Might have to use, uh, literally might have to pull out the Defender Light Bow Gun. Because I don't, I don't, I don't know that that's going to, I don't know how this is going to work. This is going to be, this is going to be awful. All right, hold on. Hold on, guys. There's a simple, there we go. All right, that'll fix that. Okay. What were we saying again? Yeah, Defender Light Boga. I don't want to use it, but I mean, he's shooting ice tornadoes at me. What else am I going to do? What are they saying? They were just being annoying. If they were being funny, it would be one thing. But if they're just being annoying, like, I don't, I don't want to read that. They're not banned. They can still enjoy chat. We just don't have to enjoy their messages. <laughs> like, he shoots a little projectile out at you. Like, you can't do anything. Maybe try another monster first. Well, I'm still going to have to get past him. And, like, we got to get past him quickly enough so that he doesn't go too hard. We're, oh, we're definitely saving after this. What happened to his pine cones? Literally, every time he's going to make an explosion or something, uh, oh no, there's no immortal dragon scales here. Well, you know, it's still balanced. That's fine. If I were hunting this, would I use Defender Light Boga? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what you would use. You would probably want what? Uh, a tool expert? Maybe? I don't know. I think that's it. Oh, I'm I'm definitely planning on using the roaming ballista.
Okay, so I need normal too. I mean, we got lucky that he's on that map because it is going to make things a little bit easier. And that just gives me normal two combines, right? Do I have heavy artillery? Heavy artillery would be good here. No. Don't need crisis anymore, actually. Don't need recovery either, I guess. All right, save. I'd love to tenderize the tail first, but I just that I don't think that's going to be possible. Napkins, hello. Jesus Christ. Starts already. Okay. Yep, that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We're going to try it one more time. Why does it keep crashing? It's spawning like 20 ice tornadoes at once. <laughs> Something like that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. We are not going to fight that Basil. Uh, we're going to fight the other two monsters, and we'll just, we can do the rest on Monday. And I might, I might have, uh, I might rerun the randomizer, because assuming Albino Donkey gets any more work on the randomizer done, we might re-randomize some more for the Master Rank. It's too much. Uh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's, 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 there's no way. I mean, it is not my computer crashing because it's not good enough. It's a, it's a pretty good computer. It's like probably literally the engine of the game. Um, can't, can't handle it. What the hell is like the admiral's talking, but his face isn't showing up. Why is the the area is hazy like Teostra, and it's just like a tsitsi yaku. What happened? <laughs> I, I, I'm paralyzed. <laughs> what?
We may not even get a chance to see what this DT was really made of. I'm very sorry. Oh god, no! 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 <laughs> He's so powerful! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you see him just shoot at one little, like, one little wimp poison? He's gonna get me! <laughs> That's great. I love that. I love it. I thought this... I thought he was going to be lame, but we got him. You know, the fire paralysis is a cool combination. It's scary, man. Yeah, he's shooting his uh, stun at you when he does his flash. Uh, I have not seen a sleep effect yet. You'd have to ask Albino if that's in there, or... I can get hit by it. I might um stick around in the in the Discord in the channel periodically. I I may do a tournament based off of this, and I'm sure you would be uh very powerful. I'm sure you would have a very high power level if you'd be interested. I assume you would be. I've done other tournaments before. I've never done anything this crazy. See, you see? I think I saw him shoot lasers out of his things, but yes, I mean, Pookie was the most unfortunate one. That's kind of a cool end screen. Finally, a Monster Bone Plus. We, I've been needing that. What happened to Basil? Uh, I'm just, I'm going to do him on Monday. I'm either going to do him on, well, I might have Albino rerun the randomizer anyways. And we'll just have to re-roll on him. Th there's no, I mean, either I have to do it without the randomizer on or something else. But he is, he is broken. So I don't think, I don't think Zeno can spawn, but I don't know. Maybe we haven't tried to spawn him. I wouldn't be opposed Albino if we had Zeno spawn only in his own arena. Is there a little bomb poops out? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, he doesn't need too much of a change anyways. But anything that creates like a persistent effect, I think is gonna is gonna break it. I think that's what it is. Like a you know, Frost Fang is just has that. If he were a Latrion or Pookie, he would have been fine. Oh, another one of those on fire and bleeding monsters. Perfect.
Oh, he's spooky. I can go in there then. I'm not afraid of you. How the hell did he? Excuse me? Why am I bleeding and on fire? Yo, that's amazing. Yo, that looks so good. I love that. Ooh, he's doing some damage. I mean, it makes you think about, like, once a move has been made, creating new monsters is, in theory, not horrible. Abino Jack, do you have any theory as to why certain monsters just, like, have, like, the ability to just generate status effects around them? Presumably, he probably could poison himself. Did I fight Val with this mod already? We fought a Black Veil. So if you go to the beginning of the VOD, uh, you can see what Black Veil is like. It's very interesting. I want to get him over here. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to go out and say I don't hate it. The only issue is, is if they have a move like that that does like para or sleep. It's going to be really bad. Yeah, like, he just got me there. It, it must be flinch causes it. Which is really interesting to think that you can assign damage to flinching? Well, I got to do something now. Yeah, low rank, high rank Bracky apparently has like a, a speed debuff, which I'm actually kind of okay with. He's normally a very, very strong monster. what I wanted to do. God damn it.
her whimpering there always kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh, don't let me carve him for some reason. Probably one of my favorite fights so far was the full Garanjanoth. That guy was just amazing. But it is cool to see Bleed as a uh, more regular effect. Theoretically, Dodo can spit sleep on you? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. He was shooting laser beams at me earlier. I mean, the way I look at it, Albino Donkey is this is the sort of thing that's just going to grow by like a monster at a time. You know what I mean? So, you know, even if even if there's like one monster a week, I mean, that would already be really interesting. Even with just five monsters, you could already see how things are coming out interesting. All right, if you want to get some of those spicy releases, Check out the Discord. Uh, I talk with the Bino Donkey about sorting out uh, Seething Basil here. We'll figure out some sort of fix. Uh, if he gets any more work done over the weekend, I might I might also just end up re-randomizing the rest of the run into Master Rank anyways, and we'll go forward from there. Um, can't think of spicy release right now. Congratulations. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go take care of Jen. She is recovering from her nano machine boosters. Um, discuss in the randomizer section of the Discord. Otherwise, I love you. Uh, I will see you on Monday. Until then, um, yeah, have a good weekend. Goodbye.